today we're visiting the well-known Somewhere in Times Grand Hotel. My wife is a Somewhere in Times fan and we wanted to come for a long time. We lived on the west coast so the Mackinac Island was pretty remote for us. We were having these full-time road trip opportunities because of COVID and it gave us the chance to visit Michigan. Prior to my arrival at the Grand Hotel, I had assumed the entire establishment was themed after the movie Somewhere in Time, but I found only one room dedicated to the film. I believe the hotel's historical significance alone was enough to make it noteworthy. We were not staying in the hotel. In order to go inside of the building, we would need to pay the $10 registration fee. We were going to join the lunch buffet later on though. With the receipt, we were going to get credits back at the restaurant. They don't take reservation for small party, so we need to line up for seats. There are many tours coming for the buffet, so the place may get packed all of a sudden. Both the food and the environment were pretty good. There were live piano performances playing the whole time. The servers were pretty friendly. Some of them were actually on the hotel exchange program. They traveled all the way from Malaysia to gain work experience. The hotel provided them with accommodation on the island. They got day off during the week to explore and to travel. As we step outside, you may recognize some of these scenery from the movie. If you're staying in hotels outside of the Mackinac Island, the ferry company does offer shuttle service to some hotels. We stayed about 10 minutes away from the ferry pier. We just walked towards the Mackinac City Water Tower. The weather wasn't very good in the morning on the day of my visit, so we stayed in the lower deck. But you're free to walk up to the upper deck right anytime. Here. You must find a seat to sit down though. The boat ride is going to take about 20 to 25 minutes. If you are planning to ride a bike, there is plenty of room to store your bike on the ferry. However, you are going to face a lot of uphills if you are heading up to the Grand Hotel. People on the island told me they need a special permit to ride an electric bike. It also means we are better off renting one from one of the bike rentals after we get off the ferry. From the hotel, there's a carriage to take you back to the town or to the ferry pier. It costs $7 per person. Kids are allowed to sit with the coachman, so do ask for it.
I hope you find this video helpful. See you next time.